Last one, just pulling the elbows for five. Working through the upper back. Three more. And two. Last one. Now we pull on the left and pull. Same march, similar to what we did a second ago. Two more. Last one. From here, we alternate for 10. And 10. Inhale as you pull the knee and the elbows. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, pull. Exhale, reach long. Eight to go. Keep breathing. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. And four. Three. And three. Two. And two. One and one. Good work. From here, we'll bring our heels together and toes apart, lifting our arms all the way up. Now you chin down, look down at your toes and round your spine. Allow your head to be heavy. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Circle your arms inward for three and two and one. Reverse the direction for three, and two, and one. Good. Now grab those weights and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. <laughs> Staying with our heels together, toes apart, arms are nice and long by this hand in front of your thighs. Protract the shoulders, throw them down your back, reach your knuckles towards your toes. Keeping your arms nice and still, just lift your heels up. Bring your heels down. Lift and lower. If the mat is too much, I encourage you to go down onto the ground, onto the bare floor. The more cushioning it is, the more instability it adds. You inhale as you lift your heels, exhale as you lower your heels. You have five more here, nice and slow. And four. And three. Two and one. Try to hold it still for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Pulling your belly in and out. This is your balance challenge, and we are done. Bring your heels down. From here, keeping your heels grounded. Take a deep breath in and lift your arms up in front of your chest. Notice from my shoulder to my knuckles, it's one long line. Now from here, you bring the arms down. You go for nine and eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two, and one, we put it together. You lift your heels up as you lift your arms up. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Eight to go. Try to stabilize yourself at the top before you go down. Six, five, four, Three, two, one. This is your balance challenge. Hold it for 10. Nine, reach your fingertips longer. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down. Good work. From here, we will go, in, we will go into a zipper. So bring the, the, the weights in front of you and together. Just lift your elbows up and reach your arms down. 10, nine, your collarbones stay wide, your shoulders stay down, elbows are reaching up to your temples. Six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Let's add the heel lift. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Pull your belly in and up as you lift up. Good. Six more. And five. And four. Three. Two. One. We hold still for ten. Nine. Lifting your elbows higher. Five. Four. Three. Two and one, bring it all the way down. From here, let's bring our feet into a parallel position. So bend of the knee. So it's a semi bend of the knee. Your, your toes are reaching forward. Your arms are nice and long by the sides of the body. We're simply going into a bicep curl. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, and five, four, and three, two, and one. Hold it here. Now bend, straighten. Bend the knees, straighten the knees. Keeping your spine nice and tall. Keeping your heels grounded, toes reaching forward. You have five and four, three and two. Last one. Lovely. Straighten your arms. Let's put the two exercises together. You bend, you straighten. Reaching your seat back, keeping the knees over your toes. Seven to go. And six and five. Chest is lifted. Four more. And three. Two. And one. Hold pulse your seat down for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Rotate your palms outward. Come back to your heels together, toes apart. Take a deep breath in as you lift your arms up to your teeth and bring them right back down. Up and down. Working through your deltoids. You have six more. And five, four more, and three, two. At any point, you feel like you're waiting too much, you just drop them down, just keep moving. Last one, adding the heel lift. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, bring it down. Up and down. Good work. Seven and six. Five, try to balance in the top. Four, three, two, one. We hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your heels down. Biceps. Nine. Eight. Tap your elbows, tap your shoulders every time. Six more. And five. Four. And three. Two. And one. Hold it still. Roll the shoulders forward for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pause, roll back for ten, nine. Try to squeeze that imaginary pencil in between your shoulder blades. Keeping your elbows wide out to the side. 
One more. And three, two, and one. Bring your arms down, shake it out. Hinge, come into a parallel stance with your feet. Then our head with a part or whatever feels comfortable for you today. Do what is right for your body. Hinge forward, chest is lifted. Look four inches forward. Now extend your arms in front of you. Soft bend at the elbow. Open, close, like above. Open, close, open, close. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you reach down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. You have five. And four. And three. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. From here, we will tap our left leg out to the side and pull it back in. Out and in. You have three. So bend on the right side of the knee. Two more. Last one. Now we combine the two movements. Open your arms, tap it out, pull it in. Open and pull in. You have three and two. Last one. Hold it down. Keep reaching your arms down towards the floor. We go out on the right. So bend on the left side. Tap to the side. Pull it in. Tap and pull. You have three and two. Last one. Let's put it together. You open, pull it in. Open, pull it in. Open, pull it in. Two more. Last one. Now we alternate for 10 sets. Reset yourself. Reach the crown of your head forward. We start with opening our arms and reaching our left toes out to the side. Pull it in. You go on the right. Pull it in. Left. Right. Every time you step out, you inhale. Exhale, you pull in. Right side. Eight to go. Take it at your own tempo. Good. Five more. And four. And four. Three. And three. Two. And two. One. And one. Bring your arms down. Triceps. Pull your elbows up as high as you can go and keep them up and bring them down. Up and center. Up and center. You have seven and six and five. Four more and three. Keep pulling your belly in and up. Keep looking down on the mat. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. From here, step your left foot back, pull it in. Step it back, pull it in. You have three. Keep your right knee tracking over your right toes. Two more. Last one. Let's add that kick back. Kick and pull. Kick and pull. Kick and pull. Kick and pull. Two more. Last one, hold center, step your right foot back and pull it in. Step it back, pull it in. Notice my left foot is grounded. My left knee is tracking over my left toe. Two more. Last one. Let's add that kick back. Kick and pull. Kick and pull. Two more, three more. Now it's two. Now it's one. We alternate for 10 sets, starting on the left. Kick, 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 kick. Seven, seven. Keep your elbows lifted higher than your waist. Keep squeezing that imaginary pencil in between your shoulder blades. Halfway there. 
Keep breathing. Two and two. One and one. Start to stand tall, lift your arms up, reach up and over to the right, stretching the, through the left side of the waist. Come through the center, reach up and over to the left, stretching through the right side of the waist. Come back to the center, bring your arms down, shake it out, and let's come down to the mat. Okay, so gives you an opportunity to grab a sip of water. Come to lay down with your feet firm grounded on the floor, ankles, knees, and thighs together, and lower yourself all the way down. Keep your head down, arms are nice and long by the side of the body. Take a deep breath in and lift your arms up and reach them back toward your ears. Should look like this. Exhale, bring your arms all the way down. This is your ribcage arms. You go up as you inhale, as you exhale, you bring them down. You have three more here. And two. Last one. Keep your arms down. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. And walk your fingertips as far forward past your hip bones as possible. Hold it here. This is your Pilates curl. From here, you lower your head down. You reach your arms back. We repeat it four times. Inhale, lift up, curling over your breastbone. Exhale, lower it all the way down. Three. And two, last one, hold it still, hold lifted. If you have neck injuries, neck issues, I encourage you to lower your head down. You will get the exact same result and effect, but we need to keep it safe. Inhale, lift your right leg to the tabletop. Exhale, place your foot right back down. Lift and lower. Same arch with it standing. We're doing it laying down. Two more. Last one. Place your foot down. Reach your arms all the way back. Take a nice big stretch. From here, we'll go to the left side. Inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Reach your arms forward. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. Lift your left leg to a tabletop. Knee over hip. Toes are reaching forward. Exhale, tap them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Lift and tap. Two more. Last one. Bring your head down, reach your arms back. Take a big stretch. We alternate for 10. Inhale, lift your arms up toward, up, right above your chest. Exhale, come into your Pilates curl, keeping your arms by your hips. Inhale, lift your right foot to the tabletop. Exhale, tap. Inhale, left and tap. You have nine. Keep your lower back grounded to the mat. Eight and eight. Seven and seven. If you chose to keep your head lifted, try to lengthen your neck. And six, five, and five. Warming up through your lower abs. Four, four, three, three, two, Two, one hold, one hold. You're in a tabletop position. Pump your arms up and down for your hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, 
four, five. If you want an extra challenge, I encourage you to lengthen your legs to a 45 degree angle. If you want even more challenge, pump your arms super vigorously in through the nose and out through the mouth. Connect your heels, open up through your toes. Inhale and exhale. If you want a little bit less, keep pumping here. If you need to modify, lower your head down. We keep pumping. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You have four more sets. And three. And two. Last one, hold still. Whatever position you chose, reach your arms back. Bring your arms forward for 10, nine. Inhale, reach, exhale, bring it down. Seven and six, five and four, three and two. Last one, pull your knees into your chest, lower your head down, bring both knees to the right and your gaze to the left, opening up through your chest, switch sides. Bring your feet into the center of the space. You have an option for the next set of exercises to use the weight if you choose to. Otherwise, you don't need to. Whatever works for you. Feet are anchored to the mat, ankles, knees, knees and thighs together. Press into your triceps to float your hips up into a bridge. Keeping your knees reaching forward over your toes. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, you float your hips up, squeezing your tush, squeezing your hamstrings. Exhale, bring it down. You have three more here. And two. Try to articulate your spine as much as possible. Last one, hold it still. We add a right leg lift to a table top and break it down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, up, exhale, down. We have two more. Last one. Let's add an arm lift. You lift your left arm as you bring your right leg to a tabletop. So it should look like this, and we do it for five sets. And down, up, and down. If you want a little bit more, lift and lower. Two, and one. From here, place your arm down, lower your hips down. Windshield your knees from left to right. Let's do the other side. You come into the tabletop first. Sorry, you come into your bridge first. Then you add a left leg to it. Come into a tabletop, bring it down. Squeezing your right hamstring. Three. And two. Last one, adding a right arm lift. You lift, you lower. You lift, you lower. You have three more here. And two. Last one. Good work. Lower your hips down. Let's get ready to alternate for 10 sets. So you come into your bridge first. Pressing into your heels, squeezing your inner thighs as much as possible. Create one long line from your shoulder to your knee. We'll start on the right. Right leg comes up, left arm lifts up. You bring it all down. Switch. And switch. 
and switch. And switch. Switch. Six. And six. Five. And five. Four. And four. Three. And three. Try to keep your arm parallel to your thigh. Two. And two, one, and one more. Everything down. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big rock, rocking from side to side. Whenever you feel ready, lift your head, neck, and shoulders up, keeping the knees into your chest. That's, we're back to our Pilates curl. Reach your arms forward like so. Extend your left leg out to a 45 degree angle and pull it in. Extend and pull. Extend and pull. Notice my tailbone is still anchored to the mat. You have five more. If you need to modify, I encourage you to bring your right leg down. And keep stretching. Three and two and one. Good. Now we go to the right. Right only. Lower your left leg down if need to be. Bring your arms down. Bring your head down. Just keep extending and lengthening the right leg. Two more, and one that we alternate for 10, starting on the left, and switch, switch, and switch, switch, and switch, switch, and switch. Take it at your own pace and your own tempo, pulling that knee to your nose every time. Four, and four, three, and three, two, and two, one, and one. Knees to chest, head down, look over your right, look over your left. Release any tension in your low, in your neck. Pull your knees into your chest, lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. Your knees, your nose should be reaching toward your knees. From here, stretch your legs forward as you reach your arms back and pull it in. Out and in, double leg stretch, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, pull your knees in, rock from side to side. Look over your right, look over your left, Allow any tension in your neck to get the knees. Come back into your little ball position. Extend the legs up to the ceiling. Hold both hands on the back of your right thigh and lower your left leg down. And lift it right back up. Down and up. Lengthening through the step, through the left achille. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. If your neck feels tense, I encourage you to lower your head down, keeping your tailbone anchored. Two more. Last one. Good. Now let's reset. Hold right behind your left. Thigh, lower your right leg down and lift it right back up. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. You have five and four, keeping your elbows lifted, shoulders down. Two more. Last one. Let's reset. Reach your arms forward. Let's alternate starting on the left. Left. Right, left, right, left, 
right. You have eight and eight, seven and seven. Keep reaching your nose to your knees. Six and six, five and five, four and four, three and three, two and two, one and done. Knees to chest, head down. Lift your head, look at shoulders up. Option A is to keep your arms down. Option B is to bring your hands onto the base of your head. Lift your legs up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in as you lower your legs down. Exhale, lift your legs up. Down and up. Down and up. You have five. If you feel like you're shaking, that's a good sign. It means you're working your belly. Three more. And two. Last one, knees to chest, head down, take a break. We will finish with a crisscross. So bring your legs to a tabletop, something that I referenced many times, knees over hips. Bring your hands into the base of your head. Lift your head back and shoulders up. Try to see if you can lift your shoulder blades off the mat and rotate. Come back through the center, to the right only. To the right, elbow T. Three more. And two. And one. Let's switch to the left. We have seven and six and five and four. And three, two more, and one, and we alternate, alternate, switch and switch, switch and switch. You have eight and eight, seven and seven, six and six, five and five. Think of twisting a wet towel every time you rotate. Three and three, two and two, one and down, knees to chest. And down. Ab series is over. From here, let's come onto our left forearm for some side kicks. So you will align yourself with the back edge of the mat and you will prop yourself onto your left forearm, creating a 90 degree angle. Your legs will be swinging forward. Swing your legs forward, like so. Stack your toes, stack your hips. Option A is to bring your right hand in front of your sternum, in front of your chest. Option B is to bring your right hand onto the base of your head. Whichever option you choose, you need to be lifting your, low, your left side of the obliques up. Shoulder rolls back. Gaze is forward, neck is long. Inhale, lift the top leg to hip height. Exhale, bring it down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You go for seven and six and five. If elbow is too much and it's not an option, I encourage you to stretch, stretch your left arm down and lower your bicep, your ear to your bicep. Keep going. Five and four and three, two more. Last one, hold still. Now reach your leg back and in. Come back through the center. We go for 10 and nine and eight and seven. Reach your heel back, come back through the center. Five more and four and three. 
two more. Last one, come back through the center, lower lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold still. Now circle forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to lower lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold still, circle back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Make sure that your hips are stacked, hips are not moving, four and three, two and one. Lower the top leg down, bring it forward. Make sure that your left leg is nice and flexed. You lift and lower the bottom leg, 10, nine. And obviously you will not get as much of a lift on the bottom side, which is okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift it up, circle forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Try to circle not with the ankle, but with the thigh. Three and two. And one, back to lower lift, 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 seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold and circle back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. From here, we'll finish with some plank shots. We're going to swing both legs forward. Create a 90 degree angle. You can, your hand could be behind your head. Open up with the knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Come onto your back for a figure four stretch. So you will be on your back, and since we work the majority of our work was done on the right side of the body, you will cross your right ankle over your left thigh, and you will gently pull your left thigh closer towards you. If it feels right for you, you can extend the right left leg up to the ceiling, point and flex a few times if you'd like. Do whatever feels right. And safe for your body. And then we'll go over to the other side. So align yourself with the back edge of the mat. Swing your legs forward. Your left hand goes behind your head. We begin by stacking our hips up. Make sure that make sure that your pelvis is rotated forward. Your belly is pulling in and up. Your ribs are lifted. Make sure that your environment is safe. And then you lift and you inhale and exhale as you lower. Seven. And six, and five, and four, and three. Once again, if the forearm is not an option, feel free to lower yourself all the way down and stretch your arm long. Feel free to bring your outside hand in front of your chest. Whatever feels right, just finish this. Let's do three and two. And one, hold still. Now we reach that heel back, come back through the center. Inhale, reach back, squeezing your hamstring. Exhale, come back through the center. 
Good work. Five more. And four. These are meant to be done slow and steady. Three. And two. Last one. Come back through the center. Lower and lift. Keep going. Seven. And six. If you feel a shake or burn, that's a good sign. You're working the muscles that you generally don't work. Five. And four. And three. Two more. Last one. Hold hip height. Now we circle forward. Keep your left foot flat. Forward and forward. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Heel down, up, down, up. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, reverse the direction of that circle, circle back and back and back. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Now bring the top leg forward, bend the knee, lift and lower the bottom leg. And see which side is easier. For me, it's the right side. I do everything on the right. It's the overworked side. So on this side, I feel like I can lift my entire leg up. For the left side, even if an inch of a lift is a lot. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Hold still. Circle. 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 Working that inner thigh for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We go down and up, down and up, down and up. Seven, keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We circle back for 10. Nine, try to circle with your thigh, not your ankle. And four, and three, two, one. Let's do the clam shells. So swing your legs forward, 90 degree angle between your torso and your thigh, and also a 90 degree angle between your shin and your thigh. From here, you open up at the knee and close. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you close. Try to keep your big toe knuckles connected. Try not to sink in your torso. Keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come onto your back and let's stretch the left side. Cross your left foot over your right thigh and pull it in. Gently rock from side to side. If you can, extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Make a few circles with the ankle if you wish. Do what feels right for you. Gentle press onto inner thigh to release any tension. Good. From here, let's come onto our belly. We did a lot of exercises for um, on the back. Now we will switch the gears. So you will come into your belly, extending your legs back and making a pillow with your hands like so. 
Well, if you didn't guys together, that's a harder option. If you want a little bit of an easier option, feel free to open up your legs as wide as the mat. Make sure that your ankle, your pubic bone is anchored. From here, we will go into a baby swan. Take a deep breath in and lift your upper body up like so. And bring it right back down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Surprisingly, this exercise is great for your lower back. Who would have thought? You have eight and seven and six and five, four and three, two. Last one, hold. Stretch your arms forward and now pull your elbows back. Your gaze should be down at the mat. You inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, pull back. Once again, if you have any neck issues, keep your head down. If you have eight and seven, six and five, reach your elbows back, keeping your shoulders down. Four and three, two and one. Make a pillow and lower your head back down. Now we will be lifting the legs, whichever option you chose, whether you want to keep your legs squeezed together or open out, you will be, you will be lifting and lowering your thighs for 10, nine, eight, Seven. You should only go as high as your lower back feels comfortable. Six more. And five. And four. Three more. And two. Last one. Hold it here. Bend the knees. Lift your knees higher. Kick and kick and kick and kick. Hamstring curl for ten. Nine, eight, try to keep your thighs lifted. That's the hard part. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch your legs. Take a child's pose. Sit back towards your heels. Reach your arms forward. Drop your head heavy. Walk over to the right. Stay here for a moment. Come back through the center. Go over to the other side. We will finish with a very quick balance challenge on all fours. So it's a quadruped position. Your shoulder is right above your wrist. Your knees are about inner hip width apart and your hip is right above your knee. From here, if you want, you can grab a weight. You don't have to. Keep your spine nice and steady. Knees is down, just lift and lower your right arm for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, with or the, without the weight, 5, 4, 3. Make sure that you're not shifting over to the right or the left as you're lifting the weight, the arm up. Three and two and one. Hold it still and steady. Pulse your arm up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your arm down. Let's reset. Now lift your right left leg up and kick it up. With the leg bent, you lift and lower that knee. 
once again, your goal is to keep your torso completely steady and still. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the knee down. Let's put the two movements together. So it's the right arm and the left knee, okay? And if this is too much, if, you're, if you have wrist issues, feel free to come onto your forearm. There are plenty of options to modify. Okay, so your right arm is slightly forward. You lift and lower. You lift and lower. You have eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two and one. Lower your arm, lower your leg. Take a quick child's pose. Wiggle your hips from left to right if you have any lower back issues. Shake your head yes and no. And let's reset and do it on the other side. Right arm, left arm goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold still and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the arm down, left leg, right leg goes up and down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we put it together and then we're done. Left arm forward, right leg back, lift, lower, lift, lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a child's pose. Shake out your wrists. And I'll see you the following Saturday. Thank you so much for joining me.